Romain Bonet became one of the most controversial subjects during his participation in Netflix's hit reality TV series, Selling Sunset. His relationship with one of its main stars, Mary Fitzgerald, fascinated fans not only because their wedding was featured in the show, but more so because he was 12 years younger than her. Romaine's inclusion in the TV show also added more spice to the drama surrounding his wife's business dealings in the real estate industry. Despite being in a TV show, there's little information about his early life, education, and family. He was never keen on sharing everything about his personal life, so he remained a mystery to the fans of Selling Sunset. Here are some of the interesting facts about Romain Bonnet. Romain Bonnet was born on the 18th of June, 1993 in France. He left his entire family there when he moved to the US in the mid-2010s. There are conflicting reports on what he was doing before he appeared in Selling Sunset. While it was generally believed that he moved to LA to pursue a modeling career, which he did, some said that he was also a French pastry chef at the time. Apparently, he was trained in the profession when he was still living in France, but there aren't any pieces of evidence that he used his pastry making skills after he arrived in the US. When Romain appeared in Selling Sunset, he was introduced as the boyfriend of Mary Fitzgerald, one of the real estate agents at the Oppenheim Group. She said that she met him in 2017 through a client who happened to be Romain's boss, who at that time was moving a group of French pastry chefs to the US. She helped him find a place to stay in California, and when he flew to LA, Mary picked him up at the airport to show him some properties. She confessed that when he hopped into the car, my jaw hit the floor. Two days later, he asked her for a date, and they've been together ever since. Despite the 12-year age gap, Romain worked as a model and was represented in LA and New York by one of the world's most prominent talent management agencies, Wilhelmina Models, founded in 1967 by the popular Dutch supermodel Wilhelmina Cooper. His modeling career took off steadily with several brands including DNA and Garçon, plus gracing the covers of magazines such as Eclair, Muse, and Men Cruise. Being around Mary over the years exposed him to the real estate industry, and it wasn't a surprise to the people around him that he later on joined the Oppenheim Group as well. However, he wasn't a realtor like Mary, but he took on a job as one of the project managers of the company, supervising the remodeling for clients of some real estate properties in their listing. When Selling Sunset became popular, one of the first thing fans wondered about was if the real estate brokerage firm was actually genuine. It was a fair question, especially since all the workers in the company looked like professional actors and models. However, since the company was in the business of buying and selling properties, it shouldn't be a surprise that its sales team looked confident, smart, and attractive. The most recent version of the Oppenheim Group was founded by twin brothers, Jason and Brett Oppenheim. They came from a well-known family with an impeccable history in the real estate industry in Hollywood. It was their great-great-grandfather, Jacob Stern, who established the Stern Realty Company. That was later located in a barn inside his huge property in LA. It was also on this property where two of the future, most historic buildings in the entertainment industry were built. The original movie studio of Paramount Pictures and the iconic Hollywood Plaza Hotel. In the 1980s, it was initially the twins' father who re-established the Oppenheim Group, with the hope that they would take over the business someday and become as successful as their great-great-grandfather. However, the twins weren't keen on anything related to business yet, and they were perennial mischief makers when they were in their teens. And their parents had to deal with several high school expulsions, so the business was eventually closed down. Their youthful antics were later successfully quelled by their Vietnam War veteran of a father, and subsequently both graduated with a law degree from college. After spending years practicing law in 2014, Jason Oppenheim switched careers and refounded the Oppenheim Group with his brother, Brett, serving not only as one of the founders, but also as the president of the brokerage firm. The journey to the top wasn't as easy as everyone thought it was, as it took him eight months to close his first deal. However, through the hard work, he and his twin brother were able to establish a strong network of celebrity clients by hiring the best real estate agents who helped the company to flourish over the years. The reality TV show Selling Sunset featured the business operations of the successful real estate company, The Oppenheim Group. Reality TV fans had long been exposed to home makeovers through several popular HGTV series, and Adam DeVello, a TV executive, thought it was time for the fans to discover the ins and outs of the actually highly competitive selling and buying of luxurious real estate properties in LA. He wanted to produce a show that would have the real estate brokerage industry as its front and center. 
rather than just the properties. The idea all started when he saw a magazine about the people and services of the Oppenheim Group, and he immediately instructed his staff to reach out to the owners of the firm and set them up for an interview. The Oppenheim Group wasn't that keen on accepting the proposal, but was later on convinced that it would be beneficial to the company. On the 21st of March 2019, Selling Sunset made its TV debut on Netflix and quickly became one of the most watched TV shows on the streaming network. While Romain Bonet appeared during the first season of the TV show, he wasn't part of the main core of characters. He belonged to the supporting cast and was initially labeled as a recurring guest. In the second and third seasons, he was credited as part of the main cast, but from the fourth to the sixth season, his appearances were limited and he became a recurring guest once again. The main cast members from the first episode up to the fifth season were the Oppenheim twin brothers, Jason and Brett, Mary Fitzgerald, Maya Vander, Ether Young, Christine Quinn, and Krischel Stoss. Two of them wouldn't appear in the next season. Maya had a proper farewell episode with the cast, unlike Christine who failed to show up for the reunion episode in the fifth season. It was only recently that she informed everyone that she'd made a business decision to quit so she could focus on her newly established real estate company with her multi-millionaire husband. Although some speculated that she was fired because of bribery allegations thrown at her by a co-worker, in the last three seasons, more people including Davina Patratz, Amanda Smith, Vanessa Viella, and Emma Hernan were added as part of the business and main cast. Some of the fans of Selling Sunset wondered why Romaine was included in the reality TV show since he was supposedly just the boyfriend of one of the real estate agents. On some online forums, many found him quite bland. However, the creators felt that it was only fitting that Romaine became part of it because of the way he and Mary met. The series was all about showing real estate properties in LA, and his relationship with her started because she helped him find a home there. It was the perfect human side dramatic narrative for a real estate show and it worked. Over three seasons, the viewers witnessed their engagement, wedding, and plans on starting a family. Here are some of the highlights. In the debut episode of Selling Sunset, Mary was seen showing Romaine a real estate property valued at close to five million, and she shared that when they first met, she already knew that they would someday purchase a home together. She also admitted that he was different from all the other guys she dated in the past in the sense that Romaine wasn't intimidated by her situation and her public persona. Romaine and Mary celebrated their first anniversary as a couple by having dinner in one of their favorite restaurants. Everything seemed to be going great for the two, until they discussed having children. Apparently, he didn't plan to have kids anytime soon. He wanted to have them when he turned 36 years old, but she would be 48 years old by that time. It made the whole celebration awkward and Mary couldn't hide her disappointment. Romaine and Mary were able to talk through some of the issues they were having, although he did say he might not have expressed himself well to her. They had not really agreed on anything about having kids, but they were both assured of the love that they felt for one another. One of the other realtors told her that she could freeze her eggs, and when he's ready for it, they could have a baby at that time. In the third episode of the first season, he proposed to her on the bed after they woke up, bringing out a ring and she said yes. Selling Sunset was a perfect platform for Romaine and Mary's wedding, and one of the real estate properties they had on the Oppenheim listing offered a perfect background for that occasion. She was a little perturbed that he wasn't that keen on being involved with the preparations, and thought that he was quite indifferent about their wedding that she asked him if he was still interested in marrying her. He told her that he absolutely wanted to go through with it, but he was not really into making wedding plans, as he felt that it was a girl's thing. Others said that it might have something to do with his age, and that he might be a little indecisive, so he left everything to her. Mary was clearly in her element when she was able to kill two birds with one stone at the wedding venue. Initially, the original venue didn't work out just weeks before the event, but there was also this private residence, a French estate that Mary had on her listing for some time. She asked the owner to allow her to use it for her wedding, and the owner agreed. But even on the day of her wedding, she was still hustling to close a deal on the property. She shared, I end up selling my wedding venue on my wedding day, which was amazing. I paused the wedding and sold it. Romain couldn't be prouder of his beloved for what she'd achieved. His family flew in from France to be with him for the occasion. The couple recited their wedding vows in French to pay tribute to his parents. Mary wasn't well versed in French, but Romain's sisters helped out. The controversy started when Mary announced her engagement and showed the ring to her co-workers. 
she told him that Romaine said that it might not be a real diamond, but his feelings were sincere, and that he would save up to give her a ring that she deserved. When Davina Potratz asked Mary how she felt that he gave her a ring that wasn't a real diamond, other co-workers were stunned at her rudeness, feeling that a diamond ring didn't mean anything if the feelings of the person weren't true. Mary was hurt, and when she told Romaine, he decided that Davina wasn't welcome at their wedding. Fans argued about it on social media, some feeling that it was immature of him not to invite the realtor, which caused some tension with the cast. Other fans thought it was his right to bar anyone from attending his wedding if he felt uncomfortable about it. The couple meticulously planned their honeymoon and chose Bali, Indonesia for it. Both were very busy with their respective work and couldn't just take a break whenever they wanted to. Romain and Mary were happy when they were finally able to schedule some time for it, which was early May of 2020. However, when they arrived at the airport, the flight was canceled due to the COVID-19 pandemic and global travel restrictions. They were both disappointed by the outcome, but Romain said that it was way better to have the flight canceled instead of flying for several hours, only to find out they were barred to enter the country or get stuck in a place for an indefinite amount of time. Romain and Mary's TV wedding was such a huge hit with the fans of Selling Sunset that months after that, there were several rumors to come out about them. Some fans felt the wedding wasn't real at all, as they learned that the couple had already married before they even started filming for the reality TV show. There was something odd with the timeline of their relationship that was presented in the show. Romaine and Mary admitted later on that they'd already had a civil union in 2018, because they had to at that time, but they both felt that signing the marriage certificate was just some paperwork for them. They'd never had a wedding ceremony, and so they wanted to make it right, including having Romaine's family be a part of it. It wasn't their intention to deceive anyone, but they just felt that it wasn't official yet so they both firmly believed that the TV wedding was their official tying of the knot. Of course, legally, it's the other way around. The fans should realize that Selling Sunset might be categorized as reality TV, but it was what industry insiders refer to as guided reality. One of the reasons why some of these reality shows become successful is that the narratives that the audiences see on TV are often planned, not only by cast members, but also by the producers. Most stories shown in each episode are real, but structured to make them more appealing to the viewers. Does that reduce your enjoyment, make you feel better, or just frustrate you? Regardless, it keeps you tuning in for the next thrilling and thralling installment of your favorite reality TV shows. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.